As you might know, Game of Life in 2D has various interesting gliders, which can traverse the simulation space. These gliders can be used to create all sorts of contraptions, from circuit logic to even spawners of new gliders. The question naturally rises, can we have gliders in Game of Life beyond flat two-dimensional space? Different variations for rules and starting conditions are completely astronomical. For this reason, the simplest solution is to create a computer program, which searches for gliders automatically. We can test our program by trying to find Game of Life 2D gliders, which we already know exist. As we can see, the program works as expected. We can find at least the most basic glider through a few iterations of the program. Now that we know our code can find the gliders, let's expand the simulation space. The first test should be for simulation space of height 3. There are huge amounts of different combinations for rules. Some having gliders and most having no gliders. From previous experience, I'm going to start with rules containing the number 4 as a birth value. It provides interesting behaviors resembling movement. Let's see what the program can find. For example here, the program has found maybe the simplest possible form of a glider with these settings. The glider has only one form and is moving continuously in one direction. The next finding is a much more interesting glider with no less than nine different forms before repeating. What's interesting is that the gliders can spawn from seemingly random starting conditions. This means that a single glider can spawn out from various different seeds. This very interesting glider has six separate forms and features a shape resembling an airplane. This is my favorite glider so far. We will start to see new forms of gliders if we change the rules. It's still possible to find the same gliders as before, if the specific rule change does not affect the glider's life cycle. Let's try having also the number 9 as a survive value. For example here, we have a close relative of a glider we have seen before. This rule set makes the glider have several faces with loops on the backside of the glider before repeating. It's interesting to see how a small change in the rules can affect the gliders that appear in the simulation. The program also found this strange form which seems to be moving to the right. While not being a glider, it's still an interesting phenomena, which makes this rule set worth studying. Using both 4 and 9 as birth values, we get this large one form glider. While single form gliders don't seem particularly rare, this is the only large one I have seen so far. This was an introductionary video for finding gliders in the Game of Life 3D simulation. If you want more content like this, please like and subscribe. The application for visualizing the simulations in this video is called Game of Life 3D. If you'd like to see it on your own device, see the download links in the description. Thank you for watching and bye.